Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Well, folks, it is still uh, October 28th, 2019. If you guys watched the previous video here on the YouTube channel, you'll probably understand why I'm doing my intro on a boat, right? If you haven't checked that video out, shame on you. I'm going to link it above, okay? Go check it out. So anyways, in the morning, my friend Jimmy and I, we kind of did a lot of pan fishing, right? Just the small lures, the small jigs. We went around the lake, caught a bunch of different species. I'm not going to go through all of that again. Go there and watch it. Now that it is kind of noon time, we are going to switch gears and start throwing lures that are a little bit bigger because Jimmy says that there are some absolute monsters in this lake, right? So the objective for this video is really for us to still fish around the lake, but just at this time, we're going to catch hopefully some monsters, all right? So let me tie all my stuff over here and let's get the fishing started. Okay, okay, it is about 10.30 a.m. right now, morning, last video, pan fishing, you guys saw it, we did pretty good, oh, yeah. you know, Jimmy kind of is switched up, upgraded his, his setup, and I decided to upgrade mine as well to see if we can catch some bigger fish. So I got a 1 8 of a, an ounce jig that a Jimmy game he, gave me here, and I also got this... Uh, how many inches is the profiler? 2.8 inches. 2.8 inches profiler. Yo, let me oh, show you guys. Actually wrong, sorry. 2.6. 2.6. Let me show you guys the action of this thing in the water. Do you guys see that, man? Let, let me give you guys a, a closer up of the action of, the sea, of this thing here. I actually never used this product by Aero Tackle. It is really like a Kai Tech style type of thing, but it just swims so good and it looks so juicy in the water. I'm really hoping to break my PB largemouth bass in this video. I don't know if it is going to happen. My PB. He caught a five pound six ounces here or something like that. Hey man, I'll take any big fish today. Let's do it. Yeah, a lot of times I just run my kayak and just go around the, shor the shoreline, the wind blown side. Oh, got go one. <laughs> I was trolling by the boat <laughs> with a profiler. Oh, wow. Yeah, you'll see the size of this crappy who took it, dude. Yeah, dude, when you get a bigger bait, you tend to catch the bigger fish. My goodness, nice 10, 11, maybe even 12 inch black crappie right here, profiler in its mouth. Wow, that is awesome. This is inhaled it too. I ain't gonna even kid you guys. Look at that. Holy moly, I have to do some tingalati unhooking here in its mouth. Teach me, senpai. <laughs> All Let's right. see, okay, Let's hook the gorger. Yep. So All you right. take this little fork thing here. Let me put it closer so that people will see that. See that fork thing? Yeah. What you want to do is hold your line, figure out where the hook is at. And I'm going to grab your line right there. Sure. And you... Okay. Oh, you got it. You got it. That's awesome. Yep. I need to buy one of those degorgers for sure because this one inhaled it, son. I'm going to take a shot at the next one because this one has been outside of the water for a little while. It suffered enough trauma over here. Oh, it swam away, folks. It went under the boat, but don't worry. It swam away. That's awesome, dude. I was just trolling for that one. Like, you know, following the flow of the boat and just felt the tap. It was like game over. Oh, trolling. Trolling, boy. Trolling. Oh yeah, dude. See that man? It's the art of trolling, my man. Jeez, Luis is a big pickerel, dude. Oh, man. My goodness gracious, this is the biggest pickerel I've seen in a while. Take your time. Wow, dude. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it, dude. Whoa. It's all good. But you saw that? Dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> trolling, dude. Oh, Hell yeah, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Now I need to catch like the the five pounder pickerel in this place the, the, wow did that look like a dude are you sure this is like a big row you know <laughs> this ain't no big row that i see in new jersey from shore usually that was sick i wonder what that pick row was doing just swimming around kind of eating the shed or yeah, You're, we're right around a, a like a drop off on this rock wall area oh okay so i'm, I'm assuming he's still in and then you had a 
Oh, 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 getting little taps. Little taps, little taps. Oh, yeah, it's a largemouth bass, man. There you go. Didn't catch the species this morning. Yeah, very nice. First Micropterus salmoides of the day on the profiler. Hey, it's not the five pounder that I'm looking for, but you know, we have to get started with something. I have to say, this boat fishing business is the is the real deal man this is the game that the shore anglers dream about <laughs> i mean of course jimmy picked up a very nice lake for us to fish today too so there's that but uh oh man one nice crappie one giant pickerel lost and one largey and this is just the beginning let me tell you all something that five pounder may really just showed up in this video Oh, actually, it may not. Oh, it, it is fish. It's fish. Okay, I felt I felt a few taps, man. I wasn't so sure, you know. And then it came back. Oh, but it's a little one again. Okay. Hey, I'll take it, dude. Day like this, man. Hey, one fish is better than no fish. At least in my book. There we go. Little largemouth bass. I feel like the Googans now, boy. No doubt. Places like this. Dang it, look at the little fish. Oh god, what? Uh, little one. Yeah, I don't know why, but they, they have all been this size. The cookie cutter size today. Cookie cutter size, right. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not happy about it. You know, it's a great day of bass fishing out here. And, uh, but yeah, still waiting for that uh, great grand... Go down there and call your great elder. Tell him the Asian is coming for him. For her, as a matter of fact. Come on, five pound pickerel. Yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness! My oh, nice one, nice one, nice one. I missed the hook set, dude. But when I saw it, I was like, oof. Do you need the net for this? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it is a bass. If you want, I would net it. Dude, it is a good size. Okay, let, let me net it. Let me net it. Let me net it, dude. Coming in. Coming in. Coming in. I got him. I got him. Bang, dude. What? Oh, it is a good Ooh, size. Holy smokes. Holy oh, smokes, dude. Holy smokes. Oh, yeah. It's a good size. We're going to take a good shot of this. Holy mackerel, dude. Right. That ain't no cookie cutter, man. That ain't no cookie cutter. That's a football, man. Holy moly! Uh -oh. Football. We'll take a measurement on that one too. Nope, let's not even try. <laughs> no, <gotta> <laughs> Alright, let, let me just uh, yep. take a shot there. there. You guys go. Oh, the light is great too. Okay, uh, a little bit down. How's that? A little bit more in. Towards, yeah, exactly. Awesome. A little bit more down. I'll send you the shots later. Wow, Whew. dude. First one. Well, not well, second fish, but man, this I wouldn't mind one. if that was the my first one, uh, my, my my only one of the day. Holy cow! Hey, <sighs> nice, Jimmy. Good job, dude. Yeah. Double donkey Kong rig, whatever that thing is. Double zoom. Wow, that's awesome. We are currently moving from structure to structure here at the lake and I just wanted to quickly show you guys right we have been using three different techniques around the lake today I would say the first one that you guys saw when I lost the pickerel is just your typical trolling right I'm just letting my stuff swim with the speed of the boat and sometimes the fish will actually come up and you know smack my lure the second type is what Jimmy is doing right now we're just casting around pieces of structure right very close to shore and just either doing a steady retrieve or just kind of doing a jigging style Jimmy's jigging more on top with his Donkey Kong rig here I'm doing more like a yo-yoing on the bottom with my little profiler plus jig so things have been going well today we haven't really found that uh, 
five pounder yet, but Jimmy did get a football of a base. So we will keep trying and moving to different places, right? Got to cover a lot of water to find these fish. I see. They're kind of... Oh. What the? Is this a pickerel playing with me or something, man? I'm starting to get a little bit, you know, like... What the hell? It sounds like it's a little beat up. You can bite it in half. Uh-huh. And sound size and it's perfect. Plus it's staying in a hook shank a lot. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Get it, boy! Look at him. It's a small one, that's why. <laughs> I knew it did. Oh, look, it's circling around, too. Oh, it's a crappie. That's what's up. Dude, I, I thought, you know, it was like, dun, 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 you know. Yo, this fish think they can play with EPF, bro? Look, I almost got him in the eye. Yo, you lucky, man. I almost turned you into a pirate, okay? Go back where you belong. That's okay. I bought you some, uh, what, your favorite pink zoom fluke. Oh, hell. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Right by the boat. Why? Dang, dude. That's intense, bro. I was just swimming in right by the boat. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, that was, that was came so by surprise. Didn't even fight, dude. I just lifted it up, you know? Yeah, out of the water. <laughs> I kid you not though, I was joking earlier today, but when I'm on a boat like this, just catching bass, I do really feel like the Guggans, dude. <laughs> I, kid you, I kid you not, because you know, it's just, it's what they do, you know what I'm saying? Go out with the boat and just find the structure and uh, all the drop-offs, right? And just cast around and catch fish, and uh, I'm not saying it's easy what they do, but it's just, it's very different from what we do like shore fishing. Yeah, it's crappy. Crappy following my stuff all the way up. That is crazy. It's a big lure too. Yeah, it is a big lure. Look at that. I, I kind of did uh, bite one part of it off because it was falling from the jig. But it's still pretty, pretty long, I would say. Oh my goodness, that's why it's not coming out. Look how good this guy got hooked. All right, let's do the pop. There we go, there we go, the pop. All right, nice, beautiful little crappie. Jimmy's getting out of his nag over here. No, oh, he got it. <sighs> lucky, lucky craft. Let's see how you swim in the water. It's been so long since I used this lucky craft too. Oh yeah, no man, this is legit. Oh yeah, can do some jerking too. Walking is good. I like it. Let's go. Oh, open water. Is it a pickerel? No, it's a bass. Yep, it's a bass. Got him. I see it. Nice, dude. Very nice, dude. Oh, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. All right. Got hooked on a... No, he did. Yeah. There he goes. Oh, wait, look at his fins. I'm sure That's you. beautiful, dude. Look at that mark on his fin. Yeah, yeah, hyperpigmented melanosis. Look at that. All right. There you go. Beautiful. Nice job, dude. Thank you. Small one. Small one on the jerk bait. Oh, it's, I think it's a crappie. Jerk yeah, it's a crappie. crappie. Jerkbait crappie, son! Oh, yeah. Lucky craft. Lucky craft. Well, the thing I don't like about it is the treble hooks sometimes get hooked in the body. But other than that, jerkbait crappie, son. That's, that's nice. That's beautiful. Let me release it over here. Booyah. Back it goes. Like, oh my gosh, big fish in Mandarin. <laughs> Yo, bro. That's like gonglei, you know? Big fish! Oh, oh, big! Anime. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the crappie are biting good on the jerk bait. Sugoi, ne? Sugoi! Oh, it's a bass! Oh, okay, it's a largey, it's a largey, never mind. Okay, largey on the jerky! Lucky craft looking, uh, working quite good today. I'm pretty happy about that. 
Ah, oh, son, go back and call your elder, okay? Another beautiful fish from the lake. Super healthy population over here. Man, I have to say, very nice. Ruin it for everyone else. The New Jersey crew is actually kind of. Oh, got one. On the jerk bait. Oh, it's a pickerel. It's a pickerel. I got it. I got it. I got it. This one ain't going nowhere, bro. This one ain't going nowhere. Look, look at that. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, crap. You ain't going nowhere, son. <laughs> Who, who's the sucker now? Huh? Who's the sucker now? Oh, hell yeah, folks. Look at our chain pickerel here, huh? Who's laughing now, huh, boy? Oh, show me, show me attitude, huh? Okay, okay. Well, let's release this guy over here. But with this fella, I have actually completed the New Jersey slam, as my friend Jimmy was talking about. If you combine previous video with this video, in other words, I have caught. Oh, in the same day. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Oh man, my friend Jimmy and I just got out from the boat. You can see Jimmy's stuff over here. I got my stuff over here and then we got the boat over here. Once again, I would like to thank Jake one more time for allowing us to use his boat and pretty much fish his lake. You know what I'm saying? So Jake, if you're watching this right now, thank you so much. I didn't really get to meet Jake today. You know what I'm saying? But I can say already, he's a nice guy just for letting us do this stuff, right? If it wasn't for him, you guys would not have gotten the two videos here on the YouTube channel. Another person that I definitely have to thank is my friend Jimmy for taking me out here and controlling the boat the entire day. It may not look like it, but it is a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of time, right? So the fact that I was able to fish and film for the two videos here on the YouTube channel, that is partially thank you to Jimmy over here, all right? So thank you so much, bro. Oh, actually, let's do a fist bump, all right? Fist bump, dude. Look at the wind. Yeah, look at that wind. Not easy, man. Tell the story how we got back. <laughs> and you know, folks, I would like to emphasize lastly in this video that these two videos just kind of show you, right, how different it is to fish from just the shore. Look, this is how shallow this is, right? If you were fishing from shore, you have a very limited area to fish at you have a boat right i mean i know that i'm saying this mostly for the kids on this youtube channel but it's pretty common sense when you have a boat you can go anywhere you want in the lake right you can access all the structure you can access the deeper holes and more importantly you can fish the places where people regular shore anglers don't usually hit which which means that the places that you go to on a boat are less pressured right the fish are a little bit dumber in a common sense so every time you come here on the youtube platform and you watch people fish on boats right kind of keep those things in mind i'm not saying it is always hard or always easy to catch fish on a boat but that's something for you to take into consideration okay we finish our day with about 100 plus fishes among the two of us myself today i caught for the entire day last video and this video together 55 fish or something like that so it was a very, very decent day. Multi-species, numbers, and quality. All right, this is it for the series, this mini two-episode series here on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Tight lines! And take it easy, son. Oh, that's oh yeah, dude, just for fun. Just for fun, chilling. See if anything gigantic shows up. Oh, dude. Oh, my goodness, dude. I was just saying, see if show, something gigantic shows up. It's a nice crappie. I got it. I got it. Yeah, dude, that's, that's solid. Dude. Solid, son. Dang, there's a white, right? Yeah, there's a white. Holy cow. Woo! I'm like Nick now. Oh, doggy. <laughs> oh, dude. It's beautiful, man. Holy cow, dude. A day to remember. A day to remember, dude. Why crappie in New Jersey?
Ooh. Uh huh. So it's like an inline spinner under spin hybrid. Yes, with a swim bait, it's gonna kill. Really? Okay, dude. <laughs> I wanna see you kill with that stuff then. I only believe it, I only believe it when I see it. Springtime with killer, I never used it really? for almost find out. But uh, Snakehead loves it, Bass loves it. I usually do it without the underspin. Okay. But, uh, Wow, Especially dude, that's head. that's fancy combination, man. Oh yeah. All right, that's what I'll do. I'll just swap to a new battery. That's another crappie. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, crappie love the Euro tackle, man. It's the Euro tackle, you know. Yes. Nice, nice one too. Let's see if I could do a, something for him. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, that's a it's decent, very decent. I think it's under the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a bass, dude. It's not a crop. It's a bass. That's what's up. I thought it was a crappie. And I was like, man, it's fighting a little bit too decent for, for a crappie, you know? Bass on the ultralight. Aero tackle. B-vibe, son. B-vibe killing it out here. Oh, yeah, dude. Ooh. Yeah. See that, man? Choked on the little thing right here. Always on the top of the mouth here, over here too. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Release the beast over here. Oh, yes, dude. Not bad. I thought it was a crappie. <laughs> oh, Thomas. Come on. Bite. Yeah, a little one. Maybe like a bluegill or maybe a crappie style fish. I almost saw, even saw the fish, so nothing to be proud about. Get down. Thomas! <laughs> Thomas, bro. Thomas is layer. Thomas is layer of fish, son. Thomas is layer of ass. Man, this thing is not just for the trout. People think I buy the Thomas just for the trout. It ain't just for the trout, son. Little largemouth bass fell to the Thomas over here. There, back it goes, Thomas. Oh yeah, no, we're still going, man. I see the water back here, kind of moving like that. Okay. Boat's definitely doing its last effort. Yeah, dude. Inline spinner in the shallow area. No? Oh, it's a... Oh, my goodness. A yellow perch. Thomas. Thomas bringing in the yellow perch, son. Not even ice fishing yet. <laughs> Not even ice fishing. Yellow perch eating the Thomas. Okay, okay. Take it easy now. Take it easy. I won't hook you, okay? Take it easy, man. You're a full, full attack mode right here from the yellow perch. All right, go. No, no way. I'm not, I'm not. He's right here. He came out. He came right. No here. way. He came up to my base and he turned on it. Drop your bait down. He's no right here. way, Drop dude. Your bait down. Four pounder? Three to four pounds. I kid you not.